In today's video, we are going to be talking about dating deal breakers before marriage. So if you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. So the first dating deal breaker that I want to share is being with someone who you feel they're basically pressuring you or forcing you to get married. Someone forcing you to be in a relationship with them. Maybe they're manipulative and abusive. That is not okay at all. A lady was in a verbally abusive relationship at one point, and her boyfriend would manipulate her and threaten her. He would say things like, If you break up with me, then I'll do this, and I'll do that. And she was so fearful of getting out of that relationship. That is actually how she got saved and started her relationship with God. Because she said a prayer to God. And she said, Lord, if you would just get this relationship out of my life, I will start a relationship with you. And the next day, the guy literally texted her and said, I had a dream that we broke up. And the lady said, Wow, maybe it's a sign from God. And the guy said, Yes. So that got her out of that toxic relationship. There are some videos on this channel about signs that God wants you to get out of a bad relationship or signs that this relationship is not for you. So check out those videos and I will put the link in the description of this particular video. But yes, someone who is abusive, who is hurting you, who is disrespectful, who is manipulating you and you don't feel safe. You feel like you're forced to be in that situation. I really recommend that you separate yourself from that person. They may give you empty lies, but I really recommend that you truly seek help. Talk to someone that is trusted. Seek help. Like get people involved. You may need to get a restraining order, but really get some help and pray about it. Because that's what helped the lady I mentioned earlier to get out of her situation. Just praying to God about it. But they may be very nice to you one day, and love you to be one day. But if their true colors keep coming forth, please believe in those true colors. It's not going to get any better if you marry them. If you are dealing with any form of abuse or anything like that, I just want you to know that God loves you. You have so much value. You have so much worth. And God has an amazing plan for you. He wants you to be with someone who will love you the same way. Someone who will value you the way God values you. Someone who will value you the way Christ says you should be valued. So please don't settle for less because you are worth so much more. God can do so much better in your life. Trust God and he will bless you with an amazing husband. Someone that will make you feel beautiful. He will make you feel loved, encouraged, and motivated. So God is going to put you with someone who treats you right. Just trust in him and just continue to wait on him. So that is my first tip. If he is disrespectful, abusive, and manipulative, or if you are watching this video, and you are a man, if you are with a manipulative woman, or she has a Jezebel-like spirit, then it has got to go. It's a no-no-no. It's a deal-breaker. It's a no-no-no. The second deal breaker before marriage that I want to talk about. It is what you guys already know, because I talk about this all the time. The second deal breaker is being unequally yoked. Being in a relationship with someone who does not share your faith, someone who does not share your belief, and someone who does not believe in Jesus. You guys are not walking together. You have two completely different mindsets. Eventually, it's going to cause drama. Eventually, it's probably going to lead you away from God. Eventually, it's just going to fall apart anyway. So just do yourself the favor. And if you are in a relationship, if you're dating someone right now, and you know that you are unequally yoked, then cut that relationship. Break that relationship and face your life in God. The third deal breaker before marriage is... If you find out this person has secrets, like you don't even really know who they are, like they are dishonest, like they have secrets, like they are untruthful, like that is a deal breaker. That is a deal breaker if you start fighting things like maybe you guys are engaged, and you know you're getting close to the wedding day, and you found out a big secret that they kept from you. So let me give you an example. If you are a woman, and you're dating this guy, 
and he kept his secret from you. Maybe he struggles with homosexual attraction. Maybe he likes both sexes. But it's a secret, and he's not sharing it. And then you find out like last minute, that this is a secret that he was afraid to share with you. That is like a big thing. Like you should tell someone that information. Like that is like very very important for people to know about you. Like that's a deal breaker. Or another example is, if you are in a relationship with someone, and then they're not telling you the truth about their financial situation. They're not telling you the truth about their financial debt. Like that is not fair. Like why are you going to blindly go into a marriage with someone? And you had no idea that he or she had $50,000 in student loans. Why didn't they share that information with you in advance? Like that is a deal breaker. Or they didn't tell you that they have kids. They're keeping secrets. So I'm talking about these big secrets. If you find out before the wedding day that the person you are in a relationship with had a big secret that they kept from you, it is a red flag. Because if they're able to be dishonest in the big things, then they're being dishonest in the little things. And the whole relationship might be a lie. So you want to make sure that you really know who you're going down the aisle with. You really need to know who you're getting into a relationship with and that there is no secret. It's so important that you really really truly do your due diligence to get to know the person that you are entering into a lifelong commitment with. Another deal breaker before marriage is if the person that you're in a relationship with is immature, like you can't even imagine them as a husband. You can't even imagine her as a wife. You can't even imagine this person as a father or a mother. Like if you can't imagine this person being that now, then if you guys get married tomorrow, what makes you think that they're going to be that? Saying your vows and putting a ring on your finger doesn't make someone become a faithful husband. It doesn't make someone become a faithful wife. So I do believe that there is a certain level of maturity and growth that needs to happen for someone to take on the level of commitment such as marriage. Now, I don't believe that maturity is by age. I believe that maturity is a mentality, so I'm not someone who thinks that it is a big deal if you're a certain age, or if you're young. There are people who got married when they were super young, but they were ready. They were in that mentality, when people were in high school party, going to the club and doing all this stuff. They didn't care for that. They were ready to go to college. They were ready to settle down, get married, and start a family. That was their mindset. So certain people are way mature past their years than others. But you want to make sure that there's that level of maturity despite whatever their age is. And that they're truly ready to take on that commitment. You are dating this man right. But could you see this man as a father to your children? Would you want this man to raise your child? Or do you just look at him as a boyfriend? Is he just the fun type? Is he the bad boy? Is the bad boy going to be a good father? Some of you ladies love the bad boy, but he doesn't end up being the good father. So there has to be a certain level of maturity. And if the maturity is not there, if you are not ready, then it is a deal breaker before marriage. The last deal breaker before marriage is someone who just want to have sex. Like they're not patient. They want to force you into having sex basically. They don't want to get to talk to you. They don't want to get to know you. It's just all about the sex. The sex, and the sex. And let me tell you this, marriage is deeper than sex. Marriage is more than sex. Like you guys have to talk about much more. You guys have to develop your communication in many different ways. If there are no boundaries, if this person does not have boundaries, then I think personally for me, that's a deal breaker. Like if they have absolutely no boundaries, if they can't respect your body, if they can't respect your decision to remain pure, like they don't even care that this is important to you, and it should be important to them too, then they're not ready for marriage. It is just a deal breaker. So those are the five deal breakers before marriage. If you guys have any deal breakers, put your deal breakers in the comment section. I would love to know if you enjoyed this video. Definitely leave it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time on this channel, do not forget to subscribe. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.